Kubor Nagashlem to Udongsan Hima. Ustir President Jong Mihalia Pradesh Congress Committee Ba Vincent H. Pala. Ula Pintip Ba Kumbaka Election MDC Kan Long Tang Hapadeng Kakasi Ba Jaintia Hills Kumta Nakaleka Seng Congress Kalalumia Baro Ki Block President Jong One Parliamentary Constituency Ha Kabaka Jing Tmu Jong Kajing Yalang Kalong Ban Pan Kalanya Kaseng Narogi Bintagi Bas Dang Ban Ban Ai Kajing Pin Shine Naga Bintagi Nong Tre Jong Kaseng Halor Kajing Jia Kabarang Shudep Jia Ha ka ba laingot ki MLA jangka Kongres ki la pet na ka seng bat leit pinya so bat ki NPP. Ha ba ya keren bat ki nong tok kubor mentak ka sengi ka arpu ar tarik un mailar hadian ka jingyalang jangka seng na kal yang ba palau la pentip ba ka jingyalang jangka seng mentak ka sengi ka long ka ba say so baru lo ongru ba kat kum ka jingya keren kum ka Kongres ha meghali ya kan pa ya ka jing temu jongki sya delhi padan ab ya ka rai jongki bor bahalor ka Kongres. Ula pentip beru baka pang pedeng jong kejing ya keren galong halor kejing poi ke election MDC kepala aban sedang haki hindreo nyo benai ban wan bat ke por kaladai ban jid iki kertong haki block level bat ke district level. Haka bedai baka jing syak sospon jong ki argut ki MLA ke kongres kat ba ya uwe pat la klem sospon na kal yang bak pala ula pensyai bahadin bala khot yagi niki laingut ki MLA syak kejing ya lang jong kaseng Arngut na ki ki bakintup yu ba Gabriel Waklang baru ba Charles Marngar ki klem wan mi Henry day tangu Dr. Celestine Lingdo bala wan mi ha ka ba ulaya tu ba ula ban penyaso ne unum penyaso abad ke NPP bat ya ka niru unsa pentip hadin bat day halor ganiga nongrim baka kongres ka klem sospon yu Dr. Celestine. The meeting today we have invited all the block presidents in one Shillong parliamentary constituency only because the election MDC is likely to happen in uh, Kasi and Giant Hills only, but Karo Hills I think it will take some time. So the meeting, the purpose of the meeting, our intention is to strengthen at the grassroots level. At the same time, we have enlightened our workers about the present scenario where three MLAs already left the party and two been suspended and one just joined the NPP. That's the purpose meeting and uh, of course it was a very good discussion, a very fruitful discussion. 20 of the members including the district presidents, the block presidents, the senior workers and uh, they have participated in the discussions. So we hope that uh, based on the discussions We'll send a resolution to Delhi and we'll see what will be the outcome. The main discussions today is, number one is that the, this council will be, I think, within six or seven months from now. So the selections of candidate, the scrutiny of candidate has to be started at the block level, then to the district level, and we'll send up to the MPCC. Some of the areas, we may have already had the candidates, so we'll try to announce the candidate in an appropriate time. And some of the areas we need to scrutiny more, so we'll take time. This is our instructions to the workers. Number two, there was a discussion why these three MLAs left and why two were suspended and one was not suspended. So we told our workers that uh, when I was away in America, actually there was a pressure that they should be suspended in my absence. But I requested the competent authority that when I reach Shillong, I should call a meeting, request all the MLAs to come. So in that meeting on the 16th of August, we invited all of them, but Two of them, Gabriel and uh, Charles Maranga, did not turn up for the meeting. Dr. Celestine came for the meeting on the 16th. And he told us in the meeting that he may or may not go, but he will let us know. So his presence was the meeting, gave us hope that we should not suspend him. Whereas the other two did not come for meeting. Actually, the suspension was not taken by the NPCC. We only sent our views 
and recommendations uh, resolutions to Delhi. So the Delhi took the action against all of them. So we enlighten our workers that also we may go for a case against all this. We are consulting the lawyers on these issues. We'll see what are the pros and cons which can benefit the party as well as the people as a large. Because I think this is too much for the BJP and PP. How they have taken our people unnecessarily. For example, this is happening in Jharkhand. If you see how the BJP is trying to poach the numbers, it happened in Himachal. Is they tried even in Karnataka. It happened in Maharashtra. It happened in many areas where the Congress was ruling. The target of the BJP is to see that the Congress is wiped out of the country. The same voice of the NPP here also, Mekhalaya Congress Mukh Bharat, the same voice. So this voice is not only the NPP, this voice has been tutored by the BJP. The people of Mekhalaya should know that the BJP and the NPP, the relationship has become stronger and stronger. With that in mind, we had contributed in the disc council through Panchanganya and his team. We worked together in the disc council because at that time, our intention was that since the sixth schedule will be amended and it was introduced in the Raja Sabha, sent to the parliamentary committee, gave a recommendations. We thought that we should also ask a party which has given the sixth schedule to the people of Meghalaya we should have a say in that. So that say we have given our views through the members in this council. But very unreliable partner NPP has taken away our people trying to destroy us. This is their mischieving uh, views and ideas and intention is being dominated by the ideas of the BJP. That's why most of people today, they thought that we should take a decision regarding a tie up with the NPP and the council. We'll be discuss this because that cannot be taken by the party alone. The members of the council has to take a decision because whenever we are working with any party, it is the leader of the house to take a decision. The party can only advise them or can only give them a direction. But major of the things, the leader of the house will take a decision. And uh, the mood of our workers, they, they also interested the president and his team to examine it clearly what are the pros and cons. So overall the mood is that they are not happy with the way with the NPP is doing, the way which is happening in the council. So they, most of them they think that we should withdraw from the council and uh, Bapan Chikang has assured them that uh, we have a system, we are a national party, we cannot just walk in and walk out. We have a system, we have to see the pros and cons. Number one is the interest of the public has to be taken in, in, in consideration. So we have told them, so majority of them, they trust us and they leave the matter to us. Uh, you may be right, but you know, when we took a decision with a good intention that we should contribute for the amendment of the sixth schedule, we should not allow only on the NPP and the BGP to dictate terms. We have a very experienced uh, uh, politicians in the district, Ba Panchangani and his team, at that time, MLAs and all. We said that we should not allow BJP and the NPP to take decision whatever they like. That is our intention. But uh, that uh, stage is almost gone. And also the delimitation of the district council and many other things which we, we need to contribute. Because at that time, there was a big issue between the NPP and the UDP. So the public, especially the people of Meghalaya, the people of Kasi and Jainti Hills, should have been left unattended if you don't participate. So our intention is not to make anything. Our intention is to contribute for the welfare of the people. So it may be, you may say that it may be late, but our intention was that we should not, we are not a party where you know, we just be under pressure by anybody. We should scrutinize, we should examine, and we should also see that the priority is to defend our people, to protect our people and preserve our culture and preserve our land, preserve our unity. That's what we think. Yeah, definitely we are, we are consulting, we are getting the papers. So we definitely will file a case. There's no doubt about that.
شغل 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 You should learn so many things that we have contributed in the DC Council. In terms of regulation, and rules, for small example, we have passed many uh, bills and amendments for the interest of working people. That is number one. Number two, as Sir already briefed you, We are enduring a very important situation where the process for amendment of the signal is going on. I think we all know, not only NPP, Congress, but all MDC, we work together to see that the amendment of the six signal should be the advantage for us. I think you understand that we work together with their very intention for the interest of our people as per our tradition, custom. Many Ilakas, Hima also has introduced the bill for the respective Ilakas. We work together to speed up many important issues for the interest of our people. Yes, it's very true in our today meeting. The, very, the, the, the voice of our party workers. Why not we relook on the working together this people? We all agree with you that this has been endorsed to the president and along with uh, state leaders to discuss on this issue. Because I think you understand, it is not appropriate for us to ask anything in a very horrid, because we are wherever we are. We have only one objective, to do the best for our people. The RSS, wherever they are, the BJP, wherever they are, their voice is Congress or India Muk Bharat, whatever they say, Congress Muk Bharat or something. Muk Bharat. So he's, Sobhalandhar uh, has to voice. Congress Muk Bharat. <laughs> has to voice. Otherwise, they know all illegalities from drugs, coal, to anything, all done by Sinobhalang and company. So, the CBI, I saw, and I was an MP, I know. They got used to come to me and ask for feedback, intelligence, this. All their files are on the table. At time will come, then we'll see that who is Sinobhalang. I'll tell you, the history will tell who is Pala, who is Sinobhalang. The history will tell when these people will be in a certain You have seen many of people are in jail, be it Kejriwal, be it any party, any chief minister, any ex-chief minister, any ministers. The records where they put one day, they land in problem. Today, they have to speak the voice of the BJP, otherwise they'll be finished by the BJP. So the voice of Sobhalang is 100% the voice of the BJP, the voice of the RS. The people of Meghalaya should know who is he. He has been exposed by his statement. He has been used by the BJP. He has been used by the RSS. I think uh, out of 20 legislators who left the party, if you can tell me anyone who blamed me, except bearing one or two, they left the party, most of them didn't, I did, they didn't blame me. After they left the party, they blamed. So they should have blamed when inside the party. I'm not an elected president. I'm just a nominated president. As soon as I lost the MLA election, I went to Delhi. And I told them that I'm ready to step down. Maybe I should not be a stumble block. They said, no, 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 we should not surrender. If you surrender, the party will be thrown like others. After I lost the election in the MP or so, I left, not only me, me along with my team. I said, I think I should, I should uh, resign. They said, no, 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 you don't have to resign. You're not an elected. You are a nominated. If you feel that is necessary, we'll just tell you to step down. So the questions of me holding the post doesn't arise. It's for the interest of the party. So people who told that they left the party, you ask any of these MLAs why they left the party. None of them will say we left the party because we don't like the president. When they are inside, never a discussions that you should step down or you should do this or that. After they leave, somebody will put in their mouth, speak this, speak that. 
you know, many of the people who left the party, and uh, they have been meeting me many times now. They said, sir, we are going to back. There's no party like Congress. I can give you a challenge you see in 2028. Many of them will be uh, asking to get from the Congress. You cannot, within top, top of the leaders now, realize that Congress is the only party which can bring justice, we can help the people, especially the Chidil caste and Chidil tribe in, in entire India. Today, when they see that we won the election in Garo Hills, these people, especially these three MLAs who left, it's solely for the by-election in Gambegre. Because they know that there's a resurgence of the Congress. Only one MLA we had in Garo Hills, we could manage to win 22 assemblies. So they thought that, oh, if the Congress is doing well in Garo Hills, automatically in Kasey Jainti, it will do well. With that in mind, the only way is, no, they cannot do anything to the president, they try to do something to the whomever they can do, soft target. So that's why they say that because of Pala, this, that. I know if I resign the party, my party will be weaker than when I am. So I'm here to strengthen the party because I've seen when the Congress is weak, the Chittal caste, Chittal tribe, people of Meghalaya will be weak. We are, you have seen so many bills they have taken, so many issues they have taken, the atrocities against the Christians, the atrocities against the tribals, so many things which the BGP, they want to do away with the reservations. So the Congress is the only party who can defend, protect and preserve the culture. Congress is the only party who will stand. The individual MLAs, the individual leader may go away, but I should not be a party to weaken the Congress party. I should be strong, never surrender, will work and definitely one day everybody will come to us, including the press, including the media, including all the other workers also. Most of them, they think that Congress is a much better, easier, negotiable than any other party. Uh, we met Rahul Gandhi recently. Rahul Gandhi, very clear, sir, uh, told us, try to avoid those people who left the party and want to come back. Try to encourage young minds, educated people who understand, even if they are fresh, send them for training. Exactly, we have all told today, we decided today in the meeting, we'll pick up around 60, 70 boys, we'll send them for training. So that's exactly what you say. Rahul Gandhi, a very clear instruction to us. He said that even all over India, for example, the BJP was weak. They have taken lots of Congress, joined them. They were strong. Now they have taken more Congress. So all the dirty Congress has gone to the BJP. Now BJP will become weak. He gave us an example of Fidel Castro, who was a president of Cuba. Fidel Castro was strong. The America has taken, has purchased all over whatever is purchasable. Left only with Fidel Castro and the genuine leaders in Cuba. Then he groomed young minds. So whatever they do, they cannot purchase him. For 50 years, he remained there because the strength which he had from the young minds, bright minds, and who were been purchasable had been purchased, but they ran away. Whereas Fidel Castro and his team strong. So I so believe who are with us now, they are strong people. We are going to project young minds, educated minds, and the people who are not be purchasable. Here and there, definitely as human beings, they may have a problems. But ultimately, our intentions, our service, our dedications will come one day. Had I wanted, I would not have waited this long. I would have joined along with those other three. So, I'm with the Congress. I will remain with the Congress. You see, you see, the party you know, doesn't function only through elected representatives. The party functions as a party. From our office bearers, we have our president. There are many issues we can flag. Okay, now we have so many platforms where you can flag your issues. Not necessarily only in the, uh, you know, in the parliament or in the legislative assembly. There are many other issues. You see, so there are certain things which you have to stand by. That is the ideology of the party you are in. Then what is you know the the program policies of the party towards the welfare of its people. We stand by. That. For the welfare and you know improve the living standards quality quality of life of the people Meghalaya needs a long way we need a lot of to improve you take in the social sector you take in every sector you see so i believe a small state like us we can only serve the people better by being in a national party 
You see, had the BJP not been a communal party, I think the choice for the people should have been, for Meghle, I'm talking about Meghle, should have been either one of these. But because of its divisive uh, communal uh, ideology of the BJP, I think the only option for the people is... So you, you see, you have a platform. When you are an elected representative, you have the platform in the assembly to voice the concerns, the, you know, the demands of the constituents. We will do that. Whether we are given or not, that will expose the party that is in the ruling dispensation. Because as I've said, you don't discriminate, uh, you know, a leader, elected representative of your position. You discriminate of the, of the people. And when you take an oath, when you are sworn in as a minister, what does the oath say? I think most of you media people should look at the oath that they take. What is the oath? With no ill will towards me. Irrespective, caste, creed, gender, whatever it is. So that means you have defied the oath. So legally speaking, there are so many things you can do. You see, I was away, so I'll be meeting the speaker tomorrow. And uh, I may step down. He may denotify me, whatever it is. You see, you know, it is a ridiculous statement. They have taken over the role of the speaker. Huh? So I think it's up to the speaker whether I'll be recognized as a member of the opposition or not. If I'm not a member of the opposition, then I'm a member of which, uh, which group? Okay, I'm neither in the ruling nor in the opposition. So that means they have taken over the role of the speaker. They have taken over the role of the 10th schedule. Maybe they would like to disqualify me. So only shows their arrogance. Mm -hmm. And maybe they don't have any other issues except to attack them. Because the people are going to vote us back in the this council. People are going to vote us back in the state. You see, when it comes to that, we leave it to the uh, decision of the party at the state level and at the ICC. If the state, the ICC says you work, with TMC, we will work, and if the ICC doesn't give any instruction, as such, there is no formal alliance in the ICC. Did they approach you? Uh, you see, I think they have approached through my colleagues. Okay. So, but then I took a decision that I'll remain with the party because, in my opinion, and I believe I'm not wrong. I think the only party that can serve the interests of the state, the interests of the part, uh, people of the state, as far as I'm concerned, is the Congress party because it's got its own ideology, it's got its own program. How to take care of all the people of the state, of the country, we believe in inclusivity, not excluding, uh, excluding anyone. So I believe in that, with that ideology, I remain with the party. And to the best of my ability, I'll serve the people of my constituency, the people of the state. Namar, kamday tang development, ki ba boon ki ki ay, mentan kong boong ni ba pansyonga. Hapo this council, nilawan ra a boon ki bills, ban mentoy pa iba. Nga try, nga lor ki development, ki don't see ki. Kementan nga noon ra a ki issue. For example, hakini ki kinet si ni long session. Menta kong ki airport, nilawan man noon develop tourism. Ato kata amde development, bagin don ka airport, ka banlong functional, bakin one da kini ki, no ki aeroplane behe behe pan one hangne. Ngin attract high end tourists, ato kata kamde ki develop. Kata habo one ra kam pan roi shen, eh, abaki one kinong jungo kai per ten ne, ki one ra bat ka jungo to. Ta manta, ngan shuang ni ki ka national food security act. Na try la day ka poor bangin ra sa social economic survey diyan, na mantang bun, ki long yeng long sem baduk. Di bawah ini orang zaman tua nak ni ke ag, ni ke an bertau ke sen kongres bantek bagi fight bah jom ni tu nom letia kan, tu nom letia dah kapa sah kan, ambil kena. Bagi biang kapam kadi, atau kata kampung kita development, oh ni don kamp surok, kamp um, jangan day kita ada udah kita development, kita angin flag apa assembly, minta kita bun show ki issues, minta kita pet kita on ki Ki nong tray jomi ki dua tray bon bon sian, tang nong contraction. Lain lagi kami awak tak kencing si, atau kata kami dek development, dapat kemelang emel ye, hoi ni hape ekosistensi. Kehendai hape kejelaka ruspa, 
ke konstitusi kan rusta. Dan so ngelak flag ini menta kum kene ka wa um kra jumi, kene ka um syirpi jumi. Atau ke don nem ka plan de kesorka ban rejuvenate lan ni ban pen imbian ke mukiwa. Ta kam de ke development. Ki ten ten yong development tang surok. Development tang ko um kene. Dan dei menta ngelak flag menta kate ke furli. Ke furli ka num mentoi tang ka melim konstitusi. Kan mentoi ka ne ka jing kap nya surok menta pina pe da piwan nado nadam teng teng tang ban poi ha poi silong da ki kenta menta la dang ni don ka western bypass ngah ha ai kuble ha la da ngam dei na ka jo ka parti ngah ha ai kuble you deputy chief minister in charge roads ya ba ka jing karan jong ha po assembly ya ka western bypass ka four lane washing kia teng teng ha bi ro dei ban chu ben tam ong ban na po chu ben do teng dei ka ba ba ngi ha bi ro menta ka western bypass ngala ai kendo Informally, ya the pitch in the state church roads iba preston ten song yang ba 95 percent kene ka land compensation ladat le hato kata kemde ke development menta ladang yo ban wan ki flight menta hatu pura ladan daily flight hapo ki week week ki jela pon not is ta megle jing pada menta ngi yang ban attract high end tourist ki try long america un hap pechua ni unong bilat ne banana gano gano kari dole wo ma net ne ne kan ngon chimpo e wo hap kar go ti ne go ti hap le shillong lai kan ta sa kan ta ki man chu ki ki ta ki dik development abang ni ong ka jela jong ni don kam ban kin ti ka revenue ka ta ki ka ta kam dik development 